Hi folks, I'm Florian from iProcess and in this webcast we talk about two things that are often mixed up in the development of automotive systems, verification and validation. While both terms describe an activity that could be referred to as testing, they are actually dealing with different focus. In colloquial terms, the definition is as follows. You verify that you built the thing right and you validate that you built the right thing. What does that mean exactly? Verification checks that a product is designed and implemented according to the specifications. Let's look at this V-cycle of software development here. On the left side, you have the different levels of development starting from high level customer and regulatory requirements, broken down into system requirements, architecture, design, and eventually code. Now on the right side, there are the different levels of integration, module, component, and system. Every level of requirements is horizontally linked with its respective verification. All test cases are derived from the requirements and test coverage can be analyzed by the traceability. Validation checks if the implementation fulfills the requirements and needs of the end customer. This usually involves either physically simulated or actual environments to perform the testing activity and it is based on use cases. Validation is usually done at the system level because only the integrated system can face the use cases necessary. There are different aspects when it comes to validation. Repeatability and reproducibility. As follow up on the statistics, this is proving the system acting the same way every time it faces the exact same conditions. This is important to rule out random behavior. Corner cases. While requirements can be tested and passing the test, there might be a special condition that will lead to a failed test. Corner case validation aims for these failures by utilizing a variety of environments as well as combinations of situations. Functional safety validation. At this level, you are validating that your system can achieve the safety goals derived from your hazard analysis and risk assessment. The faults defined in the FMEA will be introduced into the system and the safe performance is evaluated. And finally, experience-based testing. This is both very hard to specify what it exactly means and also agreed by pretty much every system validation team as one of the most important tasks in their responsibility. As the name suggests, this validation requires a certain level of experience, both in the subject as well as with the product. There are options to have guided experience-based testing, for example by defined scenarios or test outlines, and there's completely free experience-based testing. In the latter case, the tester compares the system behavior with his or her expectation from knowing the competition or from the vision of the product. Experience-based validation is also a powerful method to uncover system regressions that are invisible to the automated test systems, usually because of their focus. For example, there's a cross effect by user interaction to a completely different part of the system, one that's not even monitored in the automated test setup. Obviously, it is an industry goal to get towards automated experience-based testing, utilizing much more comprehensive monitoring and machine learning techniques. A very fascinating topic. So no matter if you choose one or all methods mentioned, or some not mentioned at all, the fact is that your product will need both verification and validation. There is no option that picks one of them over the other. The exact approach and all definitions have to be defined in your team's verification and validation strategy. iProcess can help you to create, review or improve that strategy and to custom it to your needs as well as to ensure compliance with the automotive standards required.